Hey YouTube world, it's me Evelyn, coming to you full circle, you know what I mean? bare faced dead, crusty faced dead on the floor of my mom and dad's house. I'm home, it's not my house, but it's my home. You feel what I'm saying? I lugged all this crap. You don't even know, look. Can you see? All this crap so that I could film my big end of the year. Why am I out of breath? End of the year black owned haul stuff thing. So if you want to see all the black owned items that I have collected, um, as in purchased, um, been gifted, please stay tuned. Although the, the season of giving, gift giving is over or whatever, maybe in 2017, um, you resolve to purchase more things from black folks. Simple as that. Hopefully this video can help you achieve that resolution. All right, Umoja, is, is that what it is, Umoja? There will also be a giveaway at the end of the video. And the only reason I say the end of the video is because I don't actually know what the giveaway will be. This is gonna be a long video. Mad information's gonna be in the video description box. If you ask me a question, that can be answered via the video description box, I will block you. Black owned everything. All right, let's go. That was for the OGs. First we have a clothing brand, lifestyle brand, cause she has like furniture and things like that, named Lulo and it was founded by Michelle. She is Nigerian, all right? And she makes these shirts, you've probably seen them online on this is what to buy for your magical black girl list, right? So she makes these shirts, um, I cut this one, and made it into like a crop top, but she puts Africa on them and she even includes Madagascar. All right, so I have this, I have the uh, African American, at least that's how I interpret this. <laughs> the African American hoodie, crew neck. The shop changes constantly. Things are very limited edition, but if you click the link in the video description box, you can find what she does have. Next, I have Julesy's brand, um, Smart Brown Girl. This sweater. It's like an off the shoulder situation, as you can see. My shoulders are off, as you can see. And it's a little feminine when you have your days where you all wanna be, you know, say a little feminine on the feminine side. <laughs> and I got this when she first, I feel like when she first announced um, that she was releasing merch. I also bought the t-shirt, which if you can't believe, this is a large. And I'm like, on who? So the tag is still on it and everything. So this is gonna be part of the giveaway that I mentioned that's gonna be at the end of this video. So the next items are by Dope Society. And it's um, owned, created, founded by, run by Denicio. I believe she lives in New Orleans and she makes these really cool teas with like masks and like they're adorned and things like such as she also makes like clothes like she makes clothes from scratch um so not just graphic tees but she also makes clothes um which i find really really dope um this is the the tank top that i have you can see just a really you know she got a head wrap on you know and it's just a little it's a little detail you know what i'm saying with your denim shirt a little African mask, you know what I'm saying? This is me. I wear this often. <laughs> this next t-shirt and mug was gifted to me. Black Excellence. I love this shirt. This has become my airport shirt. I was also given the mug. Are we doing this? Yes, there we go. Sip your black excellence while you be your black excellence. You know what I'm saying? The name of the store is Omnidoke. I'm just, it might be Omnidoke, girl, I don't know. They also have jewelry, like studs and necklaces with like the Wu-Tang on it. It's, it's fire, it's fire. Next item is from Slay Culture. This was also sent to me and this will be part of the giveaway as well. Um, Slay Culture. So first thing is this shirt that says we lit and then you have a mug that says crazy about my culture and it also comes with a pin 
So thank you so much Slate Culture for sending me these items. I do want to include these in my giveaway. How could I forget? myself all right my order from my own shop just came in um, magical black girl um, I purchased a mug this go round um I don't know how I feel about this it's not a black mug it's like a white mug painted black because my design is black but you know I had to order it just to see we'll be giving away two shirts um, I went to a local screen printer to print these just as samples because Teespring doesn't let you see what they look like before, like in person, and that really bothered me. So um, these are super soft. Oh my gosh, so soft. And one lucky person will be getting two of them. It's all one giveaway because I know myself and I don't trust myself to keep up with that many packages. So this is all going in one mega awesome black owned giveaway. I purchased also for myself the uh, Magical Black Girl crew neck sweater. And thank you so much to everybody who purchased something this go round. I know it was very short. Turn around. That's my fault. I'm just everywhere. Um, but. I appreciate you. Use the hashtag Magical Black Girl and tag me in it on Instagram, um, Evelyn from the Internet. Let me know so I can give it a like and comment. Teespring recently contacted me and was like, "We noticed that uh, your store is popping." And I'm like, <laughs> "Thanks." And so now I'm working with Teespring to bring you the store year round. This next shirt is one of my favorites. Um, it is called Vivian and Claire. It's dark skin Aunt Viv and Claire Huxtable. It's a collaborative project uh, by Apartment 349. My friend Gabrielle, she is an everything, a graphic everything, designer, lover. Um, she loves t-shirts and Ron Atkins. The Vivian and Claire and it's 20 pounds. I don't know how much that is in USD, but I paid it, amen. This one is a crowd favorite. I wear it during strategic times, okay? Black Nerds Unite. And I got this from um, Oyen Handmade back, 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 in the back in the day. And I wear this during like South by Southwest Interactive or like any conference that I'm not even a part of. I just wanna be in the atmosphere. And every time I wear it, like the three black dudes in the room are always like, you know, always like, we all we got, you know what I'm saying? Next is a new purchase. It recently came in the mail. I have collaborated with Cheyenne of the YouTube channel Pretty Brown and Nerdy um, twice. Her and her friends who also um, created the channel Pretty Brown and Nerdy had shirts. So I snagged two. This one is for you. I feel like we need, you know what I'm saying, representation in all spaces and places. You know what I'm saying? Like we can create a mean you part, uh, but we can also, you know what I'm saying, fangirl over comic books. We can do both. We can do it all. We are all. The next t-shirt is by Origin89. This one says unfriendly black hotties club. I think they are also the makers of uh, my No Justice, No Peace t-shirt that I wore in my Call in Black video. It has a black panther and it says No Justice, No Peace and there's like a lightning bolt going through the black panther. It's trill. I cannot find that shirt for the life of me. Caveat, I included them in this video but as of right now their store is under construction so Sorry for getting your hopes up. Next shirts will be included in the giveaway that I will do. And um, the brand is K House. Are we seeing this? Yes, sent me um, two shirts, uh, neither of which come close to being my size, which is why they will be given away. Shirts like this remind me of like Tony Daly. Like she always gets cute shirts like this. Um, this is an extra large, but again, in what universe? I'm not like shaming you for being skinny or whatever. I'm just saying. This next shirt is so cute. Um, it says Pro Fro. All right. It's black and it has this like cool print that makes the letter. So respect the fro, pro fro, both of these will be yours. Okay, so I bought two mugs from um, Society6, which is this store that allows artists and illustrators to put their designs on merchandise. So I bought two mugs 
by Cat Black here on YouTube, here on the internet. Um, she is a bomb illustrator. Um, one day I want to make like a children's book um, illustrated by her, but I'm gonna manifest that. <laughs> you know this one is just um, different, different girls of different shades and like hairstyles and they are all super rad. And the next one that I got is this one that just says feminist, hashtag feminist. These next two mugs were sent to me by um, a company called Leon and Lucy. Leon and Lucy. This mug that's like a cute, like like deconstructed um, face with like a TWA, teeny weeny afro with like a bomb side part. And then they sent me this one that says peace. And one lucky internet cousin will be receiving this in the package. They don't just have this design, like they have girls with different hairstyles, huge froze, um, but this is the one I chose. So thank you so much for sending me this. Now it's time for head wraps. The only accessory that I have more of than head wraps is snapbacks. You know what I'm saying? Get you a girl that can do both. You know what I'm saying? I just happened to buy a lot of them from The Rap Life. Uh, quite a few head wraps by The Rap Life. Um, Kayon, my friend, got me this one for my birthday. It's beautiful. They are not the only head wrap company out here by any means. Um, I've been looking at two other ones, well, three other ones, and I'll put their links in the video description box as well. Now, if you are one of those people who's like, I can make that myself, then do it, please. By all means, do. Those who cannot do, purchase. I'm just saying. These two head wraps that I have here are actually by Tony Daly here on YouTube. Um, I bought them because they're skinny, as you can see. Like she had different options for sizes um, so that this can be more of a headband than like a full on like Baduism head wrap. I also have this one, which I really love the design. All right, with a nice red lip, girl. That being said, if you make head wraps, if you're watching this and you make head wraps, please, I beg of you, can you make a square option? A square, I just want a square. A square head scarf, a square piece of fabric. That's, that's what I want, honestly. I will give you all of my money if you just make this in a square. Okay, we're done with clothes. Um, now we're moving on to accessories and other random things and then we'll end with beauty when you purchase something from tonydaily.com you get a free gift these are africa wooden earrings in the shape of africa this is like a wooden stud oh there we go it's like a wooden stud in my black owned giveaway box i will be giving away two pairs of tony daily originals next these sunglasses from Fly Girl Couture. Now, these sunglasses are made in China. It's not like she made the sunglasses. Ooh, yeah. But she sold the sunglasses, which I feel like still counts. I bought these in New York. She had a booth at Curlfest in Brooklyn, Prospect Park. And so I, when I went to Curlfest, I knew I would just so I got two pairs of ear, uh, sunglasses. Um, these ones are my favorite because they're gold. <laughs> she sells accessories, earrings, sunglasses. She also, I think, sells like vintage items. Peace Images Jewelry. I have been stalking that store for years. I was sick, I was pretty much bedridden. So during that span of like three days, I just bought so much stuff online because I mean, what else you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Drinking my Pedialyte, throwing up my guts and <laughs> buying jewelry. So this is a piece from Peace Images Jewelry. Um, it's like Labradite, I think is what this stone is called. So it's lots of gold, it's lots of brass. Um, it's just my aesthetic. Come on, focus. It says melanin, I don't know if you can see. But I love this ring. So like the prices reflect the materials used in these um, pieces. I love that she makes dainty pieces. I think there's this assumption that if you black, if you're a black woman, your aesthetic is just like huge 
everything huge necklaces a million bangles don't forget the dainty girls don't forget us all right i have a bag and I'm like evelyn you don't strike me as someone who carries bags i don't um my mom gets on me about that all the time i put my license in my bra i put it in my back pocket um my debit card be in my back pocket it's bad and at curl fest um i bought this bag wonderful bag from cc's closet it's a backpack all right and this is real leather all right so if you're vegan too bad this fabric is like ankara fabric this little side pocket an inside pouch with like pockets on the inside it's just a very well-made bag um, the price reflected that it's well made and her mom who was also running the booth at Crowfest with her um, Mentioned like all these luxury purses get their leather from the same place like in Nigeria So why can't we and I was like boo sign me up they had wonderful like colorful bags clutches um, head wraps I think yeah, they had head wraps um, But I chose this one because it was neutral. It will go with everything also at Crow Fest, I stopped by um, Lit. <laughs> I stopped by Lit Brooklyn's um, booth. They make candles. <sighs> it's giving me citrus, but like vanilla. It just smells like a warm blanket. This is the small size. They have a larger size, but I got like a little sample thing of three of these. Um, I was gifted this next item, and this will be in your giveaway box of black owned stuff these two coloring books and they threw in some color pencils it's for adults i think children can also color in it the illustrator's name is antonise richardson she sent me these two this one's called the queens of rich and it's just like can you see this it's just beautiful black oh she got a head wrap look at that and I think that's the Duafe Adinkra symbol right there. Lovely, lovely coloring book. So many squiggles and wiggles and patterns that you can color. So this is the Queens of Rich and this is the Kings of Rich. So we have lovely facial hair giving you Tupac, um, giving you Chance the Rapper maybe. These are not actual rappers. I'm just telling you what it's giving me. He's giving you like one of them avatar characters. Yes, come through locks, come through link check. Black Card Revoked uh, is the card game taking the world by storm. It is made by a company called Cards for All People and it is just like a trivia majority wins card game in which it asks a bunch of like black US culture questions. This pack is yours. I bought two a long time ago. I don't know why it took me so long to give this away, but I have one at the house. This one is yours. I'm gonna open it. So now it has my essence on it. So for example, this question is majority rules. So there is no right answer. It's just the majority. Um, who taught you how to spell the word independent? Was it A, a teacher? B, Lil Webby? C, Destiny's Child, or D, Lil Boosie. I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-C, do you know that? Uh, speaking of games, I was sent another game. This is so cool to me. It's in beta right now, and there will be a Kickstarter later on. So this game is not available for purchase, to my knowledge. I got it exclusive. Say it loud. I love the name. It is like a complete game. Like there are categories, um, there's music, there's literature, there's television. It comes with cards. Name the artist. I'ma throw that shade if I can't get paid. Blow you up to your girl like the army grenade. You can slide on my ice like the escapade. Put in the comments <laughs> who, who did that. All right, wrapping things up with beauty, hair, skin life brown butter beauty there we go the sweet what is it sweet milk uh detangler this is my favorite leave-in conditioner a second or third bottle i saw one at work that had a pump i think i'm gonna snatch that i don't know whose desk it's on 
but I'ma snatch it. This is empty, as you can see. The Babasu Butter Love Deep Conditioner. There, there we go. Brown Butter Beauty, love it, love it, love it. So this next brand was sent to me by its creator, Charlene. Um, and I believe she lives, I believe she's South African. So it's called Natural Aura. She sent me the Whipped Hair Souffle, which is like a shea butter whip, you feel what I'm saying? I got way too much on my hands. Which is like a shea butter whip. She sent me the hair growth oil, which is a lovely blend of oils such as coconut, sweet almond, essential oil, moringa, the hair thickening serum, and the beard oil for Imaginary Bay. That's class, classy have a nice natural fragrance nothing added to it just the smell of the oils um, a nice little blend you know what I'm saying I feel like black girls always got a blend somewhere I will be gifting you the beard oil and the hair thickening serum glass do you hear that um, because I have already used these two products. So I'm like, share the wealth, Evelyn, you know what I'm saying? Don't be greedy. Next is a purchase that I recently made at um, Nikki's um, event, Sip and Social, here in Austin, Texas. I bought three products from Mature and Kinky Creations. I bought um, a coffee and cocoa brown sugar scrub, their hair and body oil in the fragrance. I think this is like honey oatmeal or something it smells so good that i haven't taken a shower today so i'm still <laughs> smelling it from last night it's like spicy but like cookies and then the uh, the third thing that i got from mature and kinky was the shea butter cream which can be used in hair and body i also got it oh the fragrance is called honey nuts and oats um it smells so good it's just like cereal, like your fate, like cinnamon toast crunch. Like you can use that solid perfume. <laughs> um, the reason I stocked up on a body oil is because I recently finished a body oil. Um, that was also Black Girl Beauty brand, support the sister. Lotions by K. And I got this at Craft Her, which was a massive 100% woman owned like market that we had here in Austin put on by Boss Babes, which is a woman-run organization. I stopped by um, Lotions by K, got the Passion Fruit Lotion. Uh, it's not a lotion, it is made exclusively from oils, coconut oil, shea butter, almond oil, beeswax, fragrance. She's from Houston, Texas. Uh, and so I was like, you know what, you drove all the way to Austin. I'ma buy something. It smells great. It smells nice and fruity. It smells like a candle, really. If this came in a candle, I'd buy it. Remember that time I went on a cruise um, for Rushni's birthday, Glamazini here on YouTube? Um, she gave us a goodie bag. She gave us a present for her birthday party. And one of her sponsors was Sanika Naturals. And she's talking about them on her YouTube channel all the time. I just have never like clicked on the links she gives. Um, but in her goodie bag, she had a coupon um, for like some stupid, like $30 just like here's $30 go spend it however you want so I bought three things one of which I've already used which was a bar of soap um, but I still have the two other things so from St. Nika Naturals I got the Shea Moisturizer the two ounce and the brown sugar scrub the four ounce and then I got a bar of soap and it all came in the same fragrance so it was like a trio. The spicy sweet aroma of bay rum oil is combined with organic shea butter and natural oils to produce a rich head to toe what mmm. So it's called Bebe. Hey Bebe. This is my fragrance like if you want to know what I enjoy smelling like spice. Herbs. You know what I'm saying? Not quite patchouli, but we'll get to that in a second. If it's marketed to your man, it's for me. Surprise, I am Mr. Steal Your Girl, all right? Speaking of patchouli, this next um, item is one of my personal favorites, all-time favorites, um, and it will be going in your giveaway box, goodie box of black-owned items. This is a hashtag B 
B B B <laughs> Black Boy Beauty brand um, Harlem Soap. Remember, I did like a Curlbox Body unboxing and review, and they had this soap in there, and it was in this fragrance, and it was awesome. And I purchased some on my own, and then I just purchased like all the fragrances, and fell in love with patchouli and lavender. Never in my life that I think I would <laughs> patchouli. <laughs> Maybe it's because I live in Austin, all right? The smell of hipster, but like the hipster where she got like two locks, like two big blonde locks, um, but like straight bangs. <laughs> she wears like clothes that resemble something someone in like the, the mountains of Peru would wear. She smells like patchouli. So patchouli has like a bad stigma in my mind, but this smells so good i've been saving this soap i don't know why i was saving it um but i realized you know what i should give it away next um i was actually sent a box of goodies from my internet cousin nyasha patrice you know who you are she's one of those people who like be checking on me like when i go ghost she sent me an email she was like just making sure you're alive and stuff and i really appreciate that i appreciate are you okay instead of where's the next video little did she know one of my favorite scrubs was in that box of goodies that she sent me and i told her i was like oh this me lemon beignet bath sugar sorbet i could honestly dip my tongue in here and lick it like it smells so good so i use this pretty heavily. I love this scrub and I love the person who gave it to me. I have made two reviews about this brand um, and that is Bolden. Bolden skincare. These are the products that I'm currently using on my face um, to cleanse my face, to tone my face. I spilled half of this two days ago on the CC's closet bag that I showed y'all and I almost cried. Like <laughs> I legit almost wept if you're going to buy one the toner i would say buy the toner because it is a product that stays on your face you don't rinse it off diminishes appearance of dark spots tightens and refines pores prevents breakouts controls oil and shine they are the real deal holy field can you focus they are the real deal how long is this video honestly um last but not least we have macops if you want to paint you a face, I have just a thing for you. This is by Balm & Co. Ooh, Balm & Co, which is the skincare company by internet person, poet, writer, Alex L. Um, I bought this long time ago when she first opened up her shop. She uses lemon butter. I have never used a product with lemon butter. Coconut oil, GMO-free soy wax, and essential oil. So yes, this is vegan. This chapstick does not use um, beeswax. It smells like one of them artisanal popsicles. You know the ones that be like $7 for one popsicle, not a box, one popsicle. Keeps my lips nice and shiny and moisturized for the lipsticks I'm about to wear. I went to Black Girl Beautiful in Los Angeles. It's Nakia Phoenix's event. I bought two lipsticks um, by Nicolette Paris, spelled like Ferris wheel. Um, and it's this wonderful purple. Can we? Beauty Guru circa 2010. I bought this color, Ellen Sue, purely because this was the color she was wearing. And she looked gorgeous. It is a blue. It is a really dark, um, a really dark, deep indigo. Last but not least, the last item in my massive lengthy <coughs> is the lip bar congratulations to the lip bar she is now in target for real if in 2016 you have seen me wearing a red lip it was this one it's by the lip bar and it's called boss lady and it is a liquid matte lipstick uh, on my beauty guru look at that Look at that. It is a true, ooh, ooh, ooh. This um, gray blue color is called Silent Killer. Oh my God. And then I also bought three of 
um, her regular like satin finish, regular finish lipsticks. This one's called Whiskey Sour and it is like a nice brick orange. Are we seeing this? It's a nice brick orange. Um, love it. Oh yes, Purple Rain, R.I.P. 2016's been trash. I had a color like Purple Rain from ColourPop, but something happened to it. Um, and I put it on my lips one day and my lips started burning. So I wiped it off immediately and <laughs> purchased this. So the next one I got is called Coco Cooler and it is a nice 90s brown. Let's, let me not break it. 90s brown poetic justice um eric badu in 97 um color so yeah that's it that is everything black owned i think that i have purchased or been sent this year technically also like 2015 hope you enjoyed this video bringing it back old school i'm not gonna insert any extra b-roll footage i'm not gonna model the clothes i'm not gonna cut away to me in the lipstick you know what i'm saying what you get is what you get all right this is i'm giving you 2009 hit up the video description box if you want to visit any of these um vendors these creators these makers these artisans these creatives and support them with your coins now for the giveaway um if you want to win all the items that I'm throwing in this one big box of black owned magic. All you have to do is head over to my Instagram, find the photo that has all the prizes in it and leave a comment, literally anything. Thanks for watching. Up next, hopefully you see this same day and I edit this, but on December 30th, I have a book review planned. Um, then I have my Thailand vlog, whenever that's gonna happen. And then I have my, um, 2016 wrap up in my 2017 resolutions video so you know i'm getting back in the string of things i will see you on the internet somewhere bye